Greetings fellow Vikings, welcome to a new, brand new building video. In this one I'm going to try and build a historically accurate Viking village. Enjoy! The first thing that's really important to understand right off the bat is the structure of a Viking village. So this game doesn't have very accurate Viking villages, we do have some ruins here and there, but the most important thing to understand is that every Viking village has certain elements that need to be present in order to qualify as a viking village, obviously. So when thinking about a viking village, the first thing that comes into mind is the defense. So it was usually a moat around the village, you know, like a raised moat, or they had like wooden stakes, the one we have in Valheim, or just fences or stone walls, small stone walls. And if the village was large enough, they usually have some outposts, some towers. Moving on, around the village they usually have fields and gardens, you know, for cattle and for growing crops. Then the most important building in the village will be the Jarl's longhouse in the middle of the village. And then you're gonna have a lot of longhouses for normal Vikings, for troops, for Viking warriors. Then you're gonna have the central square in the middle of the village for events and stuff like that. Then you're gonna have the port, you know, for the main battleships. Also, there's a building near the port where they usually build those ships. And the most important of, out of all of them is gonna be the blacksmith, the carpenter, and the leather worker. So in this video, we're gonna turn this sad patch of land into this, a fully working Viking village that's historically accurate. Let's go. So, the first thing that I wanted it was a good seed, so believe me or not, right off the bat I got this amazing seed and next to the main island was this, was this small island and I thought of all the elements that, you know, make a viking village look realistic, so it needed to be near the water, protected by either some um, forests or hills and this was the perfect patch of land for me. So for this project obviously I started by uh, clearing this huge area of, uh, of land and getting, getting rid of all the debris, all the rocks, and all the extra wood that was lying everywhere. So, you know, make sure you have a nice, clear patch of land. This is the final result. After one hefty 30 minutes of work, this was the final result. I was pretty happy with it. it looks pretty clean, pretty neat. I decided to keep the small lake that you're gonna see right here. I thought it would be amazing to have it in the village. And here comes the most laborious process of, the, of them all, flattening the dirt or the, the ground and terraforming. Luckily this was a pretty flat area, so all that I needed to do is uh, take my hoe and, you know, take my time and have fun with it. This is the final result, this took me around one hour. Not gonna lie, it was extremely, extremely boring. But I was happy with it, and I decided to keep some forms of uh, some sort of um, higher grounds, you know, to not make, uh, to not have the village look boring. Next, we're gonna take uh, care of the defenses of the village. Since this is a village and not a fortress, we're gonna go with some simple, realistic defenses like the stake walls. This is how the final result looks like with all the stake walls. I decided that this village area and this village surface will suffice for this little project. I call it a little project, but it wasn't little at all. <laughs> Moving on, I decided to create green spaces all around this huge uh, area that we've created. You know, for grazing and for livestock, because this was all the Vikings were about. They would love to have all around the village these little green areas for uh, for their cattle and gardens everywhere for uh, crops so we, we i ended up doing just that <laughs> i went to extreme lengths sort of say to build the most accurate in my opinion the most accurate viking village that there can be done with all that valheim provides for us so this is uh, this is what's gonna be from the top this is how it looks we're gonna have small green spaces for grazing and for cattle and darker spots on the surface for um, for crops. The 
the next step was uh, actually setting the frames. <laughs> this was pretty silly. Setting the frames for the houses. So I decided to have a lot of different houses, you know, for different people, for rich people, for poor people, complex houses, small houses. This is how it looks from above. Now, here and there I've changed some of the house layouts, but overall you can uh, you can visualize it from here and how it looks like. I decided to go with two long houses instead of three. So make the village a bit less crowded because it was pretty crowded and I couldn't realize or couldn't see it from, uh, or at this point. And here comes the most laborious and boring part of, part of, the, of it all is building. Now, I don't like building in this game. Believe it or not, I don't like it because it takes a lot of time. It's super fun and it's rewarding, but I don't like building ama amazingly large things. So come on. <laughs> but um, this is this is how it uh, turned out to be. I didn't want to build anything fancy. I wanted to stick to the historically accurate theme. So the Vikings would have either straws on their roof or uh, just... Uh, grass, dried grass or stuff like that. So let's try and make this as accurate as possible. Moving on to another house, just gonna show you bits and pieces here and there of all the entire building process. So this was another house, an L-shaped house. I decided to try new things here and there. Maybe there can be improvements. Now all those uh, hardcore and professional <laughs> Viking builders are gonna criticize me, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't claim to have building skills, so and This is how it looks from above at this point with all the rooftops on every single house. I Think it looks pretty cute for a Viking village and the center there We're gonna have a small square as I said, that's really important for every village then we're gonna have the docks and the really important building where you actually build ships so let's go through the village here. Just another small peek. This is this is starting this is this is starting to look really good. I'm quite happy with it. So next, I decided to create a marketplace. So I tried to come up with a design for like uh, small huts or <laughs> places where uh, players or players really players yeah players why not players <laughs> Vikings would actually sell sell their merchandise right here and try to build the front end of the longhouses fiddling with all of different designs but it was a rather simple one because you either had in real life you either had this longhouse or uh, with the roof touching the ground or a bit uh, elevated when the roof is not touching the ground so I decided to go with this for the entire village so it looks more uh, more cozy and symmetrical but yeah a bit of diversity would and wouldn't hurt so this is the area view again with the village after after it's finished with all the front ends and back ends I also planted some extra trees for shadow because I didn't want to have the entire village covered in sun and it looked a bit, a bit dull. Moving into the village through the area where you build the ships. I don't know how this thing is called. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it like this. And started to add some details at this point. So I was pretty happy with it. I don't know if you like the build or not, but uh, for me this is the first build of this uh, of this size. And I was quite on the edge because the game started lagging a bit because all of those campfires and the fact that the game runs on the single CPU thread. So maybe they will improve this in the future, but um, yeah, it, it started to be a bit laggy when I had all the campfires uh, running. But overall, it looks pretty nice. Okay, and here we are for the presentation. Now... <laughs> I was just gonna let's just gonna take it step by step if I can get down from this boat if oh come on really <laughs> okay new attempt new attempt this Viking camera is really heavy it's really heavy so it's dragging me down I went down like a rock ah uh, come on there we go there we go now we can resume our run <laughs> it was it was a little awkward there but you know happens 
So like I said, this is the building where the actual ships are built. I try to add a lot of details here and there. You can see the shape of a ship down there, made out of wood, out of core wood. And of course, not a lot of wood tossed around, you know, because everything was based on wood. And the other materials like iron for the weapons and steel and whatnot. I don't know what Vikings used. I haven't researched that much. So into the village, we're gonna have a small house here. This is the bakery. Nothing fancy, just a lot of bread, you know, bread for the Vikings, <laughs> for all those hungry Vikings there. An oven, then we're gonna have a windmill, and of course a lot of wheat for all the hungry Vikings that are out there. So moving on, well, let, let me show you the actual fisher spot. So this is where the village uh, fisher would, would reside. Again, nothing fancy, I tried to place some fish here and there, his rod. And I was really happy about this nice, quiet fishing spot back into the back of his house. He has like this small pond with, uh, with lily pads and whatnot, so I thought it was gonna be a great spot for fishing. Yeah, moving on, this is the common hall, where all the peasants, or the lesser vikings, <laughs> would uh, gather in every evening. You know, share tales, drink some ale, some mead. Just sit around the table, nothing fancy in here, no fancy foods, just some meat platters. And basically a lot of ale and, you know, good, uh, good, uh, jolly spirits in there. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to show you, over here we have this type, I decided to build some sort of a, uh, barn, you know, for the animals. So we got two barns here, a lot of straw in there. I tried to create some place for the water, but uh, it's a bit difficult because we have limited resources in Valheim. Now this is the warrior's longhouse, where all the mighty vikings would, uh, would reside. So they have beds on each side, you have a cooking spot in the middle, of course tables with a lot of food, a lot of heavy armors you can see on the walls, pretty much all the heavy stuff for the warriors. This is the central square. Every evening and during certain events or festivities, the entire village would get around here and participate in all of uh, all of sort of interesting activities. Moving on is the one of the most important buildings, the hunter's hut in the village. So this is where our beloved hunter would reside. <laughs> yeah, nothing fancy, but still a bit fancier. You can see certain details like the floor or certain animal pelts residing on the floor of those who are a bit wealthier. Let's go forward here, I think it's the witch's hut, you know? Or, um, yeah, some sort of a witch's hut. You know, where the healer, the, the Viking healer would reside. So he has a nice chair there for, uh, <laughs> for telling the future. I couldn't find a crystal globe, so we have a jacket turnip. A lot of herbs, a lot of potions, obviously, as you can see. And weird, creepy decoration. Everything that would make a witch's hut look like a witch's hut. Small garden with herbs here. This is all I could do with the resources that we have, like I said, in the Valheim. This is a rather interesting house. This is a house with a Viking woman that every man in the village enjoys, sort of saying. <laughs> as you can see, we have some stamina potions on the shelf for those lesser viking that need some extra boost. So, uh, yeah, I decided to place that in the village too, because most of the village would have that type of scenario. Moving forward here, one of the most important places in the village, besides the Jarl's quarters, is the blacksmith. Again, blacksmith were, the blacksmith were uh, rich people, they had a lot of influence in the village because they tend to the swords and to every single nail in every single ship. And you know, you know how metal processing went into those days. So they had a pretty amazingly important job, sort of saying, in the village. A cute little forge here by the water. Everything required to create those magnific magnificent swords. A small little marketplace here with fish from the fishermen, a lot of armors and swords and shields, as you can see. Potions to my left there from the witch, I'm just gonna call her witch and I'm gonna call her the healer. 
meat from the hunter. Uh, let me show you something really cool here. I've added some uh, extra loot underneath their uh, shelves there. So uh, going back here we have the you know leather worker hut. And this guy would actually take care of all the clothes and all the leather armor, all the banners, the rugs, you know, leather processing, what whatnot. A lot of leather processing equipment back here. Try to add to do my best in terms of uh, equipping this place. Moving on, this is actually one of the rich people's hut. So these warriors are a bit wealthier, as you can see on the floor and on the walls. They have nicer beds, they have meads, they have a nicer kitchen, all the good stuff. Also if you look at the food, in each house you're gonna tell what sort of viking lives there. Moving on, a real important role, the carpenter. So in here you're gonna have a lot of wood, wood beams that were processed by him, all wood coming in different shapes, <laughs> shapes and sizes, also furniture, we're gonna have furniture. Yeah, and, you know, pieces of wood here and there, and, you know, tools required for <laughs> processing wood, obviously. I think this turned out to be pretty nice for a carpenter place. Back here, behind a Jarl's longhouse, we're gonna have some farmer houses. Now, notice that they, uh, they're pretty simple, you know, as a farmer house would be. Nothing fancy here and there, they have less wood at the entrance, they're not so prepared for hard winter. Small crops here and there. Moving back here, this is another interesting house. This is a, a pretty wealthy house for two Vikings that live here. You can see by the weapons, by the food on their tables. They also have different storage units and uh, weapons and shields on the walls. And back here I thought it would be a really interesting thing to have a uh, house that's being built at the time of the video. So, you know, wood beams everywhere, a lot of wood carried by the cart. And yeah, hopefully they will finish this house by the end of this, uh, of this video, who knows. <laughs> Moving on here, this is the Yara's longhouse, also the place for the feast and where all the most important Vikings from the village would gather, the Viking warriors would gather to dine with the Jarl. Over here at the entrance we have a small space for the lesser important Vikings. And of course over there at the table is the place for the warriors. And this place was uh, set and ready for a feast. This is the Jarl's quarters. Double bed here, his armor and everything. Rich food on the tables, chests the place for him to trim his beard <laughs> just so moving on this is the master the the coin master's uh, place you know the treasury where they gather all the coins and all the plunder from across the seas and the last but not least we have uh, the stone throne the jarl's place where the jarl would sit and a horn of celebration there for the jarl so i was actually really happy about this place too. I think it turned out pretty cool for a Jarl's place. Let me take you back here. I'm gonna show you the small boats for the fishing. Now obviously these boats could have been used for fighting too, but I uh, decided to have a small docks here. So these are the fishing boats. As you can see right here. Moving back inside. This is the entire village. I think <laughs> And it could turn out to be a pretty interesting build, at least for me. I spent around maybe close to 20 hours building this. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you also for, for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers and I'll see you in the next video.